Twitter, the regular board meeting, August 26, 2019. Roll call, please. Commissioner Beeler. Commissioner Greenfield. Here. Commissioner Lane. Here. Commissioner McKendry. Here. Commissioner Patera. Commissioner Welsh. Here. President Mosper. Here. I uh, have a motion to approve the agenda, please. So moved. Second. Uh, roll call. Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. Commissioner McKendry? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Yes. President Mossberger? Yes. Statement of visitors, there are none. Uh, verbal communications, staff. Two quick ones. Grant update. Uh, they received our proposal and, and I received an email today that uh, I will know we're coming out uh, to do a site visit next week. Uh, that's going to be a bad sign. No, that's a good, yeah. that's a good sign. Right. Um, and we'll know if we get an interview in Springfield by end of September. I go down to Springfield and interview uh, in October if we get that far. So what basically what this is is they'll do a point system, what we talked about. So right. they'll go down their checklist to see if it meets all the criteria. So okay. that's that. Last right. Friday, Glencoe, Evanston, Foss Park District, and I sat down with the IDNR Coastal Management discuss the sand replenishment pilot project, which has been a lot of traction. Definitely the pilot project will not occur until 2022, maybe not even until 2023. Um, if the board decides to sign an agreement, we believe IDNR will fund a grant to retain a consultant to manage the project, administration, technical aspects, and all that. So we would kind of be out of it and just uh, go from there. And we have a long way to go with that. That's my report. All right. Yeah, real quick, I'll, I'll just give uh, an update on an event that's coming up. Uh, September 21st, we have the Adopt the Beach uh, cleanup. That's a national day amongst all the waterways. Uh, I know the Cub Scout Pack 42 is doing a cleanup on the 7th, but we're going to hold ours on the national day since we signed up already for that day. So uh, volunteers can sign up online. I have it all in the board report. We'll also uh, send a communication out to all the residents. So it'll have the hyperlink and they can just click on it and then sign up to be a volunteer for that day. Do you send anything to the schools? We do, for, uh, for Adopt-A Beach, yes. Great. Right. Yeah. So I'll send that to, you know, to LBS as well as Lake Forest High School and the middle school. Great. That's all. Yeah. No? Uh, the baseball groomer that we have for our baseball field, the engine blew up, so we had to buy a new one. Uh, since we still have adult, adult softball through September and October, and we still have a fall ball, uh, relatively easy fix, just had to redo it. Uh, and the pickup truck that we have for our salt spreader, uh, the bed started to rust out. We were lucky enough to find a private person on eBay who had one for a very cheap price, $1,200, and it's going to be swapped out. So. Wow, but it's starting to rust out with the it's gonna fall through the bed. But nice work keeping uh cost try to keep cost. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Um what's next? Committee reports? So finance France isn't here, let's hold off that until maybe she gets here. Uh Park and Beach. Yes, we are actually going to meet um during the during the whole meeting to discuss what our beach committee discussed um at the meeting. On September 9th. George can't be there, but I think it'd be still good to be. So. Oh, well, I can't be there the first hour, though. Unless Jennifer can start it off. Kind of mad. Could always go the following Monday. Okay. So maybe the following Monday will be done. I think George should be there. Okay. okay. So basically, the, the key is though, I talked to the President of Moscow, that the goal will be for everyone to attend, and then you can participate in the audience. So. That's how our committees do work. So if you sit in the audience at any committee, you can jump right in and just work with the chair. Okay. So, so you'll get back to us with the day. Yeah, maybe September 16th. Yes, so we'll look that'd be great. Okay. That's a letter. Um, facilities and programs. Um, yeah, so we have not had a formal meeting yet, um, but we, um, it just through you know, various things, um, have an update for the third and RFP going up next week for um, the panel, so all the people that responded to the RFQ. Um, and Great. then um, we, just an update on all the camps. All the camps went really well this year. The early childhood camps were fantastic. 
the um, team traveler, they moved it to five days or three days, and it was a, a hit. Um, day camp had a great new head counselor this year, and so all of it will be you know, reflected, obviously, in, in the budget, but once the numbers all come through, but all, most of the camps are really, you know, fantastically this year. And then um, uh, marketing just had an opportunity to discuss, you know, some of the marketing things that are going on, and there was one big win with the pool flash sale. Do you want to share that, or do you want me to share that? Sure, whatever you want, you want to go do. Go ahead, yeah. why, why don't you share so that? So we tried something new this year, uh, because I think part of it was because of the rainy, month of June we had, concerned a little bit about uh, memberships. So uh, Marissa and I sat down and uh, came up with a flash sale and then we worked with the marketing team to put uh, a marketing package together to send out to everyone. Uh, the total cost of that marketing was a little over $300. The return was a little over, uh, it was $7,400. Wow. Yeah. So and really, and what was it? Flash sale being 25% off the for pool. one month remaining of the year or something? Or? For the entire pool membership. Uh, okay. And so when did you do it? We did it uh, the middle of the month of July and it actually worked out well because uh, it started, those were the 90 degree days that were coming up. Yeah. And majority of Probably those. weather cooperate. Yeah, right. Yes. <laughs> and majority of those were non residents. Huh. So the purchase of those. Uh, those memberships were mainly coming from Lake Forest. How did you well, well, welcome if that was your idea. <laughs> <laughs> sure. yeah, really. And let's find more ways we can, I mean, what a great idea. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, it was something. There's got to be more applications of that same idea, you know. Yeah, I, I, that was something that kind of, what sparked it was a conversation Franz had in a board meeting and uh, just bringing up how can we promote and uh, get out there with uh, some of our, you know, fitness memberships and so I just said why don't we just do that flash sale. Right. Corey to your question was primarily social media posted posts. Great. I was at another partnership and I saw that they did like the beginning of August they did like a ten punch pass sale. So they discounted punch pass and I thought that was a good idea too. Maybe at you can do one and maybe a little later on. Thanks. And I think, you know, that kind of thing, I, I think, would be great for the board to hear, you know, like a big marketing win. Like, not every single marketing yeah. tactic and not every single thing that's going on, but, you know, when there's, when there's a win, let's let's hear the win so we know, you know, that the marketing dollars are going to. And, and when it's, it's easy to measure, is that? Right. That's great. Right. Because so many of the marketing mm -hmm. dollars, like right. program guys, go out and it's so hard to know is that good for money, bad For money. sure. And I, I think, know. you know, Ron's going to make sure that. It's all going to be measurable. We're, you know, That's we're talking about that as well. So. Okay, perfect. I see on the back of board committee reports. Any more updates in terms of some of the goals that we have um, that our committee is working on, or did you already really touch on pretty much everything? I think that's pretty much everything. The, the, you know, the RFP, the flash sale under yeah. you know, marketing, um, the Fitness we're discussing it in September, and then um, uh, staff has started to discuss and talk about it just for, yeah, you know, great. kind of glaze over the kind of, you know, gold, silver, brown type membership idea. Perfect. Okay, great. Um, so that's it. Is anyone on finance? Dave, are you on? Or, I'm on finance. Paul, you're on finance. Yeah. And, yeah. and we actually haven't met in a couple of, we did not meet in August. Okay. Um, because the sauce had to be out of town. But we had it scheduled that she had to be out of town. And so we haven't met, and we're not going to be until September. And I, I think, I mean, we have time to go over this, I guess, but there are some questions, you know, there's been a lot of things Bob Novak has been going and trying to clean some things up, and it, as you've seen in the financial report, that there are some issues over paddle. Yep. And, what actually was 2019 and what was 2018 and moving it to the right place and so on and having an effect. But I think from what I from what I understand, those issues are being cleaned up and presenting, you know, trying, and I still have a couple of questions there, but trying to present it in a, in a clearer way so we can look at the numbers, you know, more readily. Yeah, and help us manage. Figure out the business. what's going on with the budget. Um, but like I said, we haven't had a chance to meet in a couple of months, so okay. 
Well, we'll dive into the financial yeah. stuff in a few minutes. Yeah. So, okay, there's not you know, really nothing. Really I have the same question like that. Talk about that here. Oh, finance committee. We can talk about it here later on, but the uh, finance committee may, will let you know when that is. So if you have a chance to be at that meeting as well, that'd be good. Let's hold that though until we get until we got it. Yeah. I think uh, many of us have questions. Um, tribe board did not meet. Friends of the parks. Jennifer, are you still going to be in have they had it all or? No, we didn't have, well, we did have to the color run. Um, but we've got another meeting from our uh, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we'll hold off until September maybe for an update. Yeah. Um, any commissioners have anything to add at this point? I, I do. I would like to add a comment. Uh, Ron put something in one of your reports to us about the golf outing and tournament. And I would. I would just like to reiterate that I thought, and all all my friends who were there thought it was an absolutely terrific evening. You were there, Ron. Emily, you were there, um, and it really worked out well. I think there was a real feeling among the golf committee people that this is something we'd like to do every year. You know, frankly. People put less effort into it this year than we did last year. Sure. Because there wasn't a gun for our heads, so to speak, mm -hmm. in terms of fundraising. And so it was a little easier from a time point of view for people to get done. Um, we had, I think, 58 golfers and about 105 people for dinner. Great. And had the raffles and, you know, the music was really good. They, they got this fellow who was, who was terrific, I thought. Um, not that I have much about it. Uh, but it, it, just, it was a terrific day, and so I think it is something we can look forward to. And if every year we can raise, now you said $4,500, but John Krasnovic estimated $4,500. I think. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being higher. I, I don't know what it is. About what it is. Yeah. But you know, if every year we can raise forty-five hundred dollars or five thousand dollars, it's doing this that we can plug into some need at the golf course that otherwise wouldn't get funded, and everyone has a great time. Um, and there's very little to no work for the board or staff, right? There are a few yeah. meetings, right? Yeah. You probably, yeah. but you just yeah, I mean, that's great. Golf fishing like that. I mean, the whole family was out serving the food. Yeah. Great. And they seemed to be happy. So I, I think there, there was one issue, and, and I don't know if this is the time to bring it up, but someone brought up the idea that, you know, why doesn't the park district go to like Lake Bluff Brewery and name the deck? You know, or someone like that, the Lake Bluff Brewery debt, and get them to pay, you know, I mean, as much as we can, but they might be willing to pay, you know, even up to $5,000 perhaps, and then get the beer there, you know, get their beer in the place, and put their naming out there, and try to tie in, you know, and again, raise some money and, and just spruce it up a little. So, have you been to the brewery yet, asking them if they'd be willing to do that? Uh, unofficial basis only. <laughs> <laughs> I think any um, but we should be any sponsorship about opportunities, be it the brewery or another local business, I, they're all great ideas. You know, naming right kind of stuff. I mean, we've talked about this before. That you know, we need to get creative about ways to to raise some dollars. And I mean, that's a it's a great idea. That's a successful local business, and there's a a tie-in to Absolutely. the events and the golf Absolutely. and everything yeah. there anyway. So, um, you know, so maybe yeah, get some direction from Ron on how how best to approach a local right. business. But yeah, by all means, it's a great idea. We're but serving someone else's beer there. I mean, 
mean, it might as well be a local beer. They, they have, I don't know if, they, if they've gotten the draft beer thing going yet. No, they have not. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they've had it, but when I've been there, they, it hasn't been working. And it's down in the basement, so they, you know, Sam, who's the only one up there, doesn't want to have to right. run down and deal with it, so she just sells the cans and the bottles. But, but we, you know, we may be able to do something with that. Yeah. And, uh, and I think just keep the momentum going and, and you know, utilize that. And again, whatever sponsorship we can get, whether it goes to General Park District or Golf Club or or whatever, I think is is a positive thing. Um, it will be continued maintenance needs of that clubhouse. So to the extent that we can offset that with some dollars every year from a golf event, you know, and not have to pull those from general reserves, that's great. I did not win the ten thousand dollar oh, oh, unfortunately. Man. And my wife was judging it, and I thought, oh, oh <laughs> finally. Yeah, I, was, I was watching. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching. But you did it. Um, I think that's a great idea. I think a fundraising event just like this. Um, the three school does in the middle school, they do it like every other year. They always do a big fundraiser, and it makes a lot of money. And if we just do a consistent fundraiser every year, where we really work with our fundraising committee, which is the foundation board, we really use them to create like an event. That is, yeah. every year you can make that fun instead of being 4500 something bigger because it becomes a community Correct. for not just the golf course but for the whole park district. And that's really what we need to focus on. Really have the foundation kind of take the lead in organizing. And then, like we were talking, Nikki and I were saying, there's so many people that want to help volunteer. We had like six people that applied to help with that. We can help with fundraising. I'm creating like that, I mean, that's, I think that's a good thing. Yeah. That extra money that we can do, because everybody likes to have a good time in this club. And so if you do it for the big community party that we do all the time, and the focus is on all of the park districts, some of the money's going to go to the preschool, some of the money's going to go to the golf course, to the racket club, to the beach, then you get the whole community yeah. behind it. Yeah. I think we should really focus all on that. the foundation, like making it bigger than what it really is. On a new topic, I know you guys are dying now. Who won the adult co ed softball? Who's currently in first? It's the Bluffers yeah. for the fourth year in a row. All the playoffs are coming up, so keep your fingers crossed for a fourth beat. I'll let you get it done. So and next. So happy for you. And the next and meeting. So proud. And I guess you're just yeah. dying. <laughs> <laughs> I let you know. All right. So. Well, you talked to Ron about kind of the, the right approach, you know, for a local business using the brewery as an example, whether that ends up being the one we talk to or not. But I think right. that's a good idea. Right. I think that's a great example. It's something that would really be appreciated by everybody, right? Yeah. To have that. I think it's, it's a good idea. And then involving the foundation, absolutely. You mean the friends? Yeah. Talk about foundation? Right. Yeah. Uh, great idea. And let's make sure we somehow make that connection. Well ahead of the date next year. Um, Should be. Are, so you're the liaison. Is there another liaison? The no, Melchior, no. or you're the. No, the assistant. Yeah, so oh, he's the assistant. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, so dive right in and you know maybe attend their next meeting or something. Yeah, I think it's. Okay, perfect. Right. Oh, you're way ahead of me. Um, what? No, 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 foundation. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not all about this. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> a lot of it is about the sure beach. Sure it is. The majority of the part is about the beach. All right, President's report, we can see it. Uh, given that I've been gone for a while. Um, can I get a motion to approve the minutes from uh, the July 15th meeting, please? So moved. A second? Uh, roll call. Commissioner Beeler? Uh, yes. Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. Commissioner McHenry? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Yes. President Mossberg? Yes. Um, Ron, thank you for putting all these invoices kind of together um, and moving straight to approval. Um, did anybody have any questions? So let's just look at all, you know, all of these together, the ACH as well as uh, Checks. Um, I had a note on one. Uh, there we go. Uh, so, um, 
focus results for 2490. It, we collected receipts for all of the folks that paid for training. They went through our registration system. So then we're cutting them a check back for mm -hmm. the 70% share or whatever it is, 75. That's correct. 75% share of, of those training dollars. That's correct, right. Okay. All right. And then what insurance do we get through the Village of Lake Bluff? Uh, health insurance. So they bill us. So we're in a pool with the library and the village. Uh, and that's separate from stuff. all the other employee benefit stuff? Uh, I thought that was that North Suburban employee benefit yeah, cooperative. That, um, the 14 grand is for what page are you on? Sorry, page 36. So I see that you know the, the health insurance and the benefits are part of that cooperative, but then way down on the bottom it says Village of Lake Bluff insurance. That's separate from employee benefits. Is there property insurance that they do for us or something? No, let me check on that one. The big enough number that it raised the question. Okay, I will uh, might be in that uh, anybody else have anything that stuck out which I want to clear and then I'm just, Jim will look, he's got all the checks. So That's fine, we don't have to hold, yeah, we don't have to hold this up. For him, but we'll look. Um, so if no questions, uh, we can get a motion to approve the, um, all four of the schedules of invoices from uh, July, July 17th, August 1st, and August 26th. So moved. So moved, second. Uh, roll we'll call, please. Commissioner Beeler? Yes. Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. Commissioner McHenry? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Abstain due to a relationship with a vendor on the list. President Mossbarger. When are we finally going to pay them everything so that you can start <laughs> I don't think I ever pay them. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, now let's move into the financial stuff. Right? Is that next Correct. Uh, just to clarify, so the Village of Lake Bluff, it does go through that the recreation benefits, all the health insurance and things like that. So I'm telling the check on what the other one is. So uh, they yeah, I knew the other, I knew the so all the premiums, stuff, all the premiums go through okay. the Village of Lake Bluff. So on page 44, you see that the financial report says we are ahead of budget by 360 thousand uh, dollars. Expenses are going to catch up. Uh, and so a lot of that, almost 200,000 of that is in the recreation side. So basically what happens, in a, a real quick synopsis, is the, the monthly distributions, and that's compared to budget, actual versus budget, the monthly distributions need to get tightened up and will be in more line for the September budget. So how we budget from a monthly standpoint, when things come in. So September, a lot will catch up, but we're also uh, going to be looking at all our monthly distributions to make sure they're in line. So what I can say is Jim, Noah, and I, and then Bob has confirmed that we have gone line by line by line and forecasted that we feel confident that we're in that budget, which is roughly about that 240 to $250,000 surplus. But this on page 44 is saying we're going to be almost $500,000. We're not going to be ahead $500,000. And it really just comes down to the how we dis distribute our monthly budgets. So um, and we'll, we'll get that straightened up for the September report. Franz and I have talked about that. I feel confident we'll have it all ready to go. So one comment that I wanted Ron to make to the group, and please make this comment when I finish, is that we don't have an operating problem here. We have an issue with the way we've been accounting and the way that our system provides numbers on a monthly basis. There's not a that was when you make that comment. Yeah, so uh, again, to reconfirm that our operations, there are no issues with our operations and how it comes into our system. It is purely accounting and how we account for it on a monthly basis. So that is that's that's all it is. Operations are doing well. Uh, 
cash going out. There's no. But that is what is going to be adjusted, so we'll be able to look more realistically yes. at what has right. come in and what's expected for any month and what that's that's right. That's exactly what is right. actually coming in. That's exactly right. There's a lot of noise in here yeah. in what we're looking at that makes it impossible for us to provide Ron and staff with any oversight and guidance on, you know, how we're doing. And they really can't report to us right now on how they are doing relative to budget, which is a really frustrating position to be in in August of a given year. You know, we don't know. Right. So there's some noise like the um, revenue collected um, this year that really was last year right. or paddle that needs to be adjusted out of here. Some of this. Yeah, that was sixty two thousand dollars. I mean that's it's fifty two of the two hundred and fifty or whatever the number means. So no, it's a big number. Yeah. Um, an expense example would be we we thought we had expended in and some expense uh, for twenty thousand dollars, but it hasn't occurred yet. But we put it in the monthly distribution as March, but it hasn't hit yet. So it looks like our expenses are doing better, but that's going to catch up. So that we'll have to book that in our monthly budgets for September. So it's how you account for it in the monthly budget. You know, you've got some things that you um, straight line, you know, amortize. Maybe it's not the right word, but but you um, you apply an even dollar amount every month for things like tax receipts. Well, tax receipts we get two, three, four chunk, large chunky payments from Lake County, you know, during June, June July, September. and September, October. But the way the accounting system um, and the, the budget process accounts for it is it just provides an even monthly dollar amount all the way forward so that you don't have these enormous cash losses at the beginning of the year as you're depleting your cash reserves, and then um, all of a sudden you get these big wins. So we need to do something better because it's not, what we're doing right now is not working. Correct. Franz recognizes that, your committee recognizes it, Ron recognizes it. Um, and uh, I mean, it's not always possible to say we expect to spend twenty thousand dollars this month, but you don't. But you're going to spend it in two months. And right. you know, That's understandable. It can't break. Right. It, it's never going to be perfect. Um, but something better, so that we really know how some how something is performing when it's supposed to perform. Correct. Yeah. It it doesn't help to allocate, you know, pool revenue. Over a broader period, we have to look. What did the pool do so far this summer? During the pool you know, season, it during the pool season, right? And being able to compare apples to apples. It's mostly it's expenses. Kidding, it's it? mostly expenses. It's almost two hundred thousand dollars difference from the monthly budget. If we haven't spent yet. Yeah, yeah, that we haven't really spent that we will. It right. really is in that area. It's mostly and, that. Area. And you know, really, how we allocate tax revenue. Because you have seasonal things like the pool and paddle. And then how do you allocate tax revenues to those so that you know where you stand at any one time during the season? It's kind of tricky. I'm mean, not. In the best case, we're not uh, putting any tax revenue towards paddle and the pool. Those should be paying for themselves. But there are things like, you know, uh, Salary and benefits. Yeah. You know, we've got those expenses right. for the entire year, but there are periods of time when maybe we don't have any revenue, you know, much revenue right. coming in. Um, so it, it's a um, budgeting issue. You're going to be in the middle of that with your committee you know, starting pretty soon. You know, we need to figure out a better way to account for all this stuff so that we can truly be able to measure the performance right. of our different businesses during the year. I mean, we should be able to look at, ideally, we should be able to look at something and say, this is doing what we expected it to do. Or right. it's better than we yeah. expected it to do or not as well. Yep. And you're going to be off by a little bit here or there, but it shouldn't be 
we shouldn't be off in a material way. Correct. No. Correct. I feel good moving forward. We've gone line, line by line by line to forecast at the end of the year. And uh, yeah, how it matches up with this report, but I think as, as Chris stated, our oper we feel good about our operations and confident about our operations. And that we're right in line with that. And that was about a $250,000 surplus. Um, did you have additional specific questions? I think that kind of raises the question with like, the support report. And I'm not trying to go back, but it's, you get numbers and, and you have numbers of how many people came, but it would be nice that you get the pool membership and you can see the reflection on that. But you can't see like what's going on with cattle or even pickleball or um, just, but if you do see the pool, it just would be nice to see the number to it, like how much money you're doing there. It's like you did with the pool. I just, maybe you just see more information. In terms of the, so you want financial the usage with the report? Yeah, the usage with, with also the, the revenue, they want to say, the cost. So you, you want to I mean, for the pool, the order like you did for the pool, so you didn't get from the pool. Uh, yeah, I, I did that because I wanted to. Which I think is great, yeah. then you could see the difference every year, but then you can't, like, I don't understand, like, the bracket, it's just like, it's not really much information to go on. Yeah, I, I, the only reason why I did that with the pool was because um, it's such a short season and to recognize where we're at with memberships. Memberships are done, so it was uh, easy to put that report together because I knew exactly where memberships are. So that yeah. it's really easy to see. Like okay, we could, you, know, you could just see it's a clear picture of what's happening. Or I feel like I have no idea what's happening with that. Or fifty-two thousand dollars ad. I'm just totally confused. Yeah. At the front, I mean, you could tell me even I was really confused with the numbers. I was like, I don't understand. I, I could totally understand this pool. This is really nice, and I could see what's going on there. So cattle specifically hold off for right or now. Or even the focus results, like the seven packages, like. It just has seven packages, but then on that other report it had, there was the volleyball. So right. this information is here and this information here, so you don't have a real clear picture of the service results either. Yeah. Unless that's the way it's done, I don't know. Um, I think we're learning with the focus results, and it's kind but of too early because yeah. it just started in June, so. Because it's, but there I, was I guess I'm just for, trying to understand, are we going area by area? I mean, uh, the direction of the finance was, committee was take it high level, do a couple of the major areas, and, yeah. and keep it simple. So I'm, I'm just trying to understand are we going back to more detail? So that's what I'm trying to get direction. Well, if, if is asking, yeah. What's the peel back behind each label? I mean, because we're talking about something separately, like the pool is separate, the yeah. cash is separate, somewhere. But within these things, we need to know the, what comprises um, health and fitness total bracket sports, bracket sports total recreation programs. So those are the areas that you're looking at to see kind of feeling at that what funnels into that, which is what Ron was kind of talking about, is to take it up on high level, but you want to feel that and see what's underneath that. Well, yeah, I think that's where you see all the bracket balls, then it's pulling everything else down. Because if it's all clumped together, then I know we're going to be talking about it, but I, mean, I, I guess I was, I was just following that we're trying yeah. to condense because <laughs> I was asked to condense our reports yeah. and I'm just trying to get direction. Yeah. You know what, what, what I'm thinking about also, which we can discuss at the finance committee meeting, it might be useful if we can put it in without having too many numbers, you know, try to keep the numbers out but have the actual memberships and attendance with the financials. Because if we're up 10% in pool attendance, but we're making $20,000 less money, yeah. what's going on? Yeah. Do, do so maybe there's a way to add it up. Yeah. It's just taking the numbers we have. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And adding it on, yeah. Yeah. put everything in one place so you can say, yeah, you know, pool attendance is up five percent. It's not changing your could be because, because it's non-resident or whatever. So it's not. It's resident. Right. Yeah. Okay. There's a flip side to that, Paul. 
you could have more memberships and less money, and, and this year that is the case. So if you count the total number of memberships, because our individual memberships skyrocketed, I mean, really, it, it was significant. I'll have that total once the season's over with, but it was a, it was a large number, and that would be misleading, as we had in last week's meeting, that we didn't hit the membership number. So the membership number was $2,400 short, but yet we had more members. So there are there is something behind there. It could be that's because we had more individual members than we did for Family of Five, or it could be a mixture of that plus. If you remember, I the report I gave in the early spring when we first sold the memberships, we were way way ahead. Well, everybody bought the early bird, so now they've bought a discounted package versus the most expensive package. So it's it's a little tricky. I well, but, that, but I think in, I think in general. If the numbers are looking good, chances sure. are membership is up or we've got more people participating in a program. To keep it very simple, that may not be the answer, but more than likely it's probably the answer. So I think providing some membership information yeah. along with the financials in that report, I think that's a great idea, just adding another line to it. Um, and you know, it also yeah. gives you a tool to say, gee, we're making less money because we sold fewer family memberships. Next year we have to go out and push the family memberships. Yeah. Yeah. Or any marketing people help me, you know, another great idea on, you know. Sparks that yeah. conversation right. that happened at that level. You may not be able to. I mean. Yeah, you're exactly right, because if so, you do look at the camp numbers, yeah, we, we did really well, and, and, and we will reflect that in our financials. You see where your profits okay. are, you mm -hmm. know, biggest.
a motion to authorize Ron and our attorney to approve the agreement between the park district and the baseball association. Right? Because they're still finalized. Okay. A second? I didn't mean to rush that. Does anyone have the quote? Okay. Seems pretty basic to me. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Beeler? Yes. Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. Commissioner McHenry? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Yes. President Mossberger? Yes. All right, next, are we on to the uh, board policy change, the committee members? Yes. All spending time with the programs and stuff? Okay. The, the other thing I'd just like to change and talk with the uh, chair, or uh, the chair oh. is uh, Franz, uh, is tennis, is to make that one session per year per person only on an annual basis. And we'll make that change. And the reason why is, they're usually nine week sessions, so to just do three out of the nine weeks doesn't make sense. I have a question about this too. Yeah. Is it committee members or is it everybody on board? Board and committee members. Okay. So we'd like to be board members and also okay. not board committee, committee members. Okay. Um, and we have a few of those. So um, I love the idea. You know, I think we, we used to maybe participate more than we are now. Um, and I think it's really healthy and positive for us to be seen using the different facilities. And I think it's valuable for all of the board and committee members to get a perspective from, uh, from us as to what do we see that's going on? Are there any areas that we think could use some improvement? Um, so I, I'm, all, I'm all in favor of this. Um, so all of us can do it? Yes. Okay. And, and the thought was, um, for each of us to think about which, well, Ron, one or two. So pick a couple of them. Email um, me. I think I'm supposed to be the collector of the wishes. Um, you can email me and I'll send them to that. Okay. Send them to Ron. Um, so we'll, we'll gather everyone's maybe top two um, and then we'll make a, a decision about who's going to use what and then. Um, I, I didn't read this this morning, but it's the idea that every quarter, maybe, yeah, every quarter, then you'd be responsible for reporting back to the group, um, kind of what you're seeing and, and any thoughts on um, what's going well and, and what maybe can be improved. This is right. a good idea. Yeah. The majority of feedback I ever received throughout the 10 years I've been on the board is because I was actually at the you know, I was at, in the pool yeah, and somebody had something to say. Playing a paddle upstairs. So I do think it's important to be um, like the eyes and ears for the community mm -hmm. yeah. participating. So uh, with the change of tennis to one session per year, um, would someone make a motion, please, to amend the board policy manual to include all of uh, these changes? A second. Second. Uh, roll call, please. Commissioner Beeler? Yes. Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. Commissioner McHenry? Yes. Commissioner Welsh? Yes. President Mossberger? Yes. So maybe between now and the next board meeting, everybody email um, Ron, you know, your top two, and we'll make, decide by the next board meeting. <laughs> Commissioner Greenfield? Yes. Commissioner Lane? Yes. 
Commissioner McKendry? Yes. Commissioner Walsh? Yes. President Westbender? Yes. That's all the business, right? Yeah. Community comments, a couple letters from Sally Egan, very nice. Um, I see this whole bit. Can we label this the, uh, oh wait. Sorry, these are attached. So first is the article on the, the clubhouse and the, um, which is great, that's good practice. And the association, and then is the long, Thing that, that you know, I'd like to turn Rob Douglas and baby. Um, <laughs> he is all over this thing, <laughs> which is great. I mean, I, I think all of us would, can get behind the beautification of the 176 corridor. I don't know if that's you know an area where we can contribute a whole ton of dollars, um, but if someone else wants to, uh, I think that's fantastic. And I know there are a lot of community groups that would be interested in. Um, donating time to help cut away buffalo and all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so don't, it's don't great to see, yeah. you know, is there something that they're asking us? No, about? no, but uh, maybe, maybe later it is the cutting down of Buckthorn and things like that along 176. That was a conversation three years ago that if someone was, uh, if someone was to come in and remove the Buckthorn, it's not the whole law or is the whole law, uh, it's too much for them. Would the Park District consider uh, uh, providing funds? But I have not been asked the question recently. So. Um, okay. Or the high school. Yeah, they do environmental science class where they stay in the Sam, Sam Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. the yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. In fact, we, we went with them. All, a lot of the parents went too. We just weren't allowed to use the tools. Yeah. We were the ones that had to drag the stuff away. But, yeah. No, um, they like it. Yeah, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, there are ways to do it with that stuff. I don't so, absolutely agree. And I've heard Larry talk about how, yeah, but even if we get all volunteers, we still have to buy the gas for the chainsaw. It's like, come on, put a bucket out and people can put a couple bucks in there. Mm -hmm. It can't be all that much money. So, love the idea. Probably not something we can contribute a lot of bucks to, but um, maybe we can time and help them get volunteers in. Maybe Rob will go on spare time. Spare time. Rob. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, and I think his building's pretty full now, too. I so, mean, why not? Yeah. Okay. I we love that. Yeah. Rob Douglas and B. We oh, let them sell all the golf balls that they're going to find in there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I have this marketing dashboard in here. This no, is that was just with your group. group. That was just part of your group. My group? Your facilities and program group. So. Did I put things together that should have been together? Yeah, that, we did have to come up. I, I'll okay. talk to you afterwards about that. We so are we going to talk at our committee? Yes. Yeah. The, the next one. Yeah. Okay. The next one. Good. Okay. So. so that was a good idea about volunteers. And I think we talked about it one meeting about the extra that want to help out, creating like a volunteer group. And that's just another reason we could use them. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that could be something that, again, the foundation could help out with, is like, not only the fundraising, but maybe volunteering, setting up like a group of volunteers. Yeah. Yeah. Friends and friends. Yeah. Friends and friends. I'm sure, like, Jenny Simpson and Heather her love well, the old well, Buckthorn. They would be like the volunteer coordinators. They know people. They know people. They never do. They would be the coordinators. The coordinators. And then you ask the children. You can know their relationship. Can I raise a couple points quickly before we turn? Yes, you can. Very quickly. Okay. First of all, I was reading more articles about government agencies, even small villages. Who've had their websites that have had their computer systems hacked, and I don't know what we're doing about that and what kind of backup we have, but it evidently is getting very, very serious, and it's not limited to big cities. Um, 
and it's something we might want to get so so that was actually a question by standard and force um, so we have procedures we have policies so how we how we uh, take credit cards all of that and what we do if we are hacked we do have our outside IT company Excalibur but in terms of the backup so oh, that's all backup through them and there's a lot of things so I can get back to report back to the board on that and kind of what our procedures are for backups and all that so that doesn't mean it's not going to happen but I feel like we have everything in place if, if we're properly backed up and we can access the backup with that oh, and almost I think it's every day it backs up to a hard drive every day yeah we have and one one is taken off site Okay. And the second thing I was just reading, because you had talked to us when we had our initial meeting with you when we were elected about the the, uh, the pension system that the Park District employees are part of, and how well funded it is. It is separate from the, the general Illinois state pension plan. And I, I guess that there are a number of organizations, mainly fire and police, who are looking to try to ameliorate their pension funding problem, which is massive, by merging it with the pension fund that you're aware of. It. And I would think that's something you want to be really careful yeah. about what we do about that. Yeah. I, you know, try to my get your political I'm supporters sure. to yeah. prevent it from happening. Yeah, I think that I am RF. I look at it early on in my tenure on the board because I was curious. And I'm going to say it's funded at 87% or almost 90%. I was very pleasantly surprised right. to see how high the number was. Um, but then so if, you get the other thing, if you get the, the large state pension trying to merge it in, I don't know how they, how they do that. Uh, politics. I mean, it is politics. They've got to do something. And yeah. They're going to look for the low hanging fruit, and they might consider that low hanging fruit. I'll continue to look at that. I don't know what we can do about it, but, you know, we I elect like board members, so I, as the agent, we, you get a vote. We get a vote. So, yeah. I don't think it's good. Well, maybe it's something to talk about whenever you get together on an annual basis or something. No. So I, 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 can, I can call in and say where are we at and what's the status. So yeah. Yeah, that's good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Does anybody else have anything before we adjourn? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, motion to adjourn, please. So moved. Second. Is that an aye aye? Yeah. Yeah. All, mm -hmm. all in favor? Thanks, everyone. Not a record, you guys.